And hello, everyone. I wanted to say good morning again. <laughs> that would be a shame. Hello, everyone. Hello, Callum. Hello. How are we doing? Not great, Martin. Honestly, <laughs> not great, as we just discussed. Um, yeah, we were. Uh, I've just renamed the episode. Amber we Coffee. Are, Amber Coffee. <laughs> because, yeah, uh, as uh, some people know, I have COVID. Uh, no. I had I tested positive last week on Friday morning. And I, I sort of held it all together for the Umbra Coffee episode uh, and then very quickly deteriorated after that. And I've been quite unwell, actually. Uh, but, you know, life moves on. But I'm li at least I'm here now, physically and yeah. mentally destroyed as well, to support you <laughs> in, in, in this situation. Because I'm, I'm in the middle of, of moving process, which is not going, of course, according to the plan as always. Uh, uh, and, and, and yeah, uh, I, I said to Callum yesterday as well that I'm not feeling too too good, so we can both share the pain uh, and spend this time together to discuss what's happening and what happened in, in the Baraka community. Because I miss it, I'm, I'm still on the holiday, uh, which is a kind of work, work, work holiday. holiday. Uh, yeah, it's uh, not, not holiday really holiday with boxes. You've been moving house. It, it's funny to see the email responses. Yeah, yeah, Martin will be back from holiday. Said, Damn it. I, I can't wait to be back from, the, from this holiday. <laughs> This is this kind of holiday, but yeah, that's 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 happening. But of course, uh, when we collected the news, uh, as usually, there was a lot of things happening. And I watched the, the last week episode, and it was also packed with, with uh, interesting things. And today we can we can start from um, probably the, the the biggest announcement from Ambraco side uh, this week, uh, that is about uh, the new region uh, for Ambraco Cloud. Uh, and we've been talking about it multiple times, right? Uh, it it was work in the yeah. making for how many months? Uh, it's, yeah, a couple months eight months, uh, according to Mikkel on Twitter. Uh, yeah, eight months. I mean, uh, he he kind of joked on Twitter that it took eight months just to add a add a drop down. Uh, <laughs> eight to twelve months. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it's like these jokes. How, how how many programmers are required to to replace the bulk, right? It's like yeah. <laughs> how many people are required to make exactly. But, but, but it's, it's the, massive step. the the underlying stuff they've they've modernized all of their cloud kind of infrastructure and architecture over the years. We know that from the blog posts that Morton shared and the few times we've had them on Umbra Coffee too. Um, but uh, yeah, the, uh, the kind of the, the whole infrastructure has been modernized and azurified. And then now they've made it replicatable so they can scale out to another region. But what that in theory means is now you've got yep. one region scaling out to three, four, five yep. is let's say less of a challenge i'm not going to say easy but you know it's it's yeah. not going to be eight months of effort every time so that's really cool i can imagine we'll see a an australia or an asia pacific region at some point maybe a west coast us region um yeah. maybe uh you know U uk or some other or germany where like data protection laws are quite quite important um you know it'll be be a good era for a record cloud yeah, yeah, exactly, and and I can't remember. I also remember uh, the the enjoyment about the step, and and this is also mentioned here that this is just the beginning, and uh, and a replication is always easy and easier than, than creating it from scratch. So we can expect more of this uh, happening soon. But of course, right now, when we see a, an expansion to US market, US was picked first. It was also proved by some discussions and 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 surveys back in the days. So so yeah, right now, where everyone who starts the the project on uh, on Ambraco Cloud can pick the region from the, from the drop down and can host the website in uh, East US. What of course uh, will improve the performance and everything else uh, when yeah. it comes to, to, to hosting. I, I said I said this last week and uh, I guess revealed maybe a secret that this was coming this week. I didn't realize it was a secret. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I saw that Jason Prothero was kind of testing. He's obviously West Coast US. He was yep. trying to find a way of testing and proving what the difference in performance would be. And, um, I, I don't think it would be as great as people think, actually, because the US is very well connected and uh, no. the, the West uh, Europe, the Netherlands data center is also very well connected. But uh, you'll, you'll get a, a minor speed bump. And I, I can also imagine that maybe for Australia or, or those sorts of regions, actually, you would see an improvement. So I'd be very interested to see some stats there. Very, no. very interesting. I think it, I, I did a lot of tests on, on the Chinese and Singapore uh, yeah. regions and hostings back in the days to also expose this performance boost, but it's not always that visible. Uh, yeah. These days, it's, the internet and the connections of the of the underlying um, uh, networks are, are that good that it's not that much relevant. But still, there are data protection laws. There are some requirements from the project to, to host 
data in the specific location. So it's definitely a good change and 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 and, and huge step ahead uh, towards uh, globalization of of Umbraco Cloud product. I was I was going to add as well. Uh, East US is an interesting choice as a region. Um, firstly, it's the kind of biggest Azure region. Um, so or one of the biggest Azure regions. In fact, we've got East US and East US two. There's two there, uh, but um, it's the cheapest also. So mm -hmm. it, it's a logical sense. And Umbraco, I guess, have been able to keep their pricing the same by by doing that. So it's yeah. it's on a par with the, the European region. But it will be very interesting to see what happens to the Umbraco cloud pricing when we have other options like Australia, which is really expensive for hosting, really, really expensive for hosting, yeah. or the UK or something, and how, and how that's going to affect. Are they going to take a smaller profit margin and keep the, the price the same? Or are they going to, you know, start charging more for different regions? It'll be, it'll be very, very mm -hmm. interesting. So yeah. conversations we have with clients all the time, like, hey, yeah, you, you could put your site in the UK, or you could save 30% and put it in Ireland or, or the Netherlands, yeah. and you're not going to notice any difference. So uh, yeah. that'll, that'll be interesting. But that will be the this good optimization that we will be able to do when it comes to 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 to, to, to choosing from from various locations. But we'll see, and and it's a good challenge for the business, uh, like oh, yeah. Broker Cloud in this case. Uh, so yeah, that was definitely a, one of the one of the biggest announcements, and and I, we saw we also uh, on Twitter the celebration in the Umbraco office uh, and, and and around the Umbraco and their teams. So uh, co congrats on on launching this uh, to everyone involved, uh, and 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 we are definitely all waiting for another drop down uh, positions <laughs> out there with another regions. Uh, releases column. There was a lot of releases this week, and yes. and we can start from uh, the one that await, uh, awaited a lot to be released. Uh, and I remember that we, I've been talking with uh, with a lot of people uh, uh, and, and and even Anders uh, uh, about this import feature for the redirects um, uh, package. And now it's mm -hmm. here, so we can import and export the, the redirects. Uh, and of course, it's it's very handy when it comes to you know moving websites from uh, from other solutions to Umbraco maybe when there are some pages that needs to be redirected. And, and many times we will we received a, a list of you know couple thousands of redirects to be uh, recreated on the website and, and and it wasn't always effective to do it on, on the configuration files so now it can be done and imported you know in the bulk uh, straight from the package and it looks really great again I've done this manually in the database before and it was a real <sighs> it wasn't it wasn't that painful it was fine but like yeah, yeah. It's way better to have this. Way better. everyone struggled with, with this kind of situation and now uh, 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 still Skybird Redirects is one of the most popular Redirects package, uh, and, and definitely this feature will um, uh, be used a lot. Uh, so everyone who needed it and needs it right now can definitely take a benefit from this one. And, and as I've said, it looks really uh, great. I, I remember one of the uh, extensions or forks, uh, probably made by Header, to be honest, uh, then. Uh, it was having a very uh, uh, side uh, placed a link that was opening some uh, system model to select the file, very, very unfriendly UX, but it worked. So now it's it's tweaked uh, and it's polished and it looks really, really awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's the first one. The next one is from uh, Anders as well, but it's already uh, renamed uh, to be Limbo Media Picker. And this one is really interesting. I, I haven't seen this one. Uh, it was released so yesterday. Week, so Last week we talked about the Limbo RTE. And if you open that yes. second screenshot there, it's got a it's got a yeah. very interesting concept of these like converters. Yes. Um, so you can have a, a type converter which will effectively give you a, a custom view model if you want it to be. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, you can sort of yeah, it's, it's it's very very interesting. And this is sort of like now a pattern across all of the different uh, all of these different limbo property editors that Anders yeah. has been churning out. So yeah, that's that's very cool. Um, and I think I think it's a derivative of their original image picker. From, mm -hmm. from a while ago, which was, I think a lot of that's actually been bundled straight into the core now with the new V3 media picker. So I wonder how this compares, but uh, yeah, it was great. Yeah. But what, what I like the most about this one is, is like the approach of being able to uh, change converters, right? It's not mm -hmm. that you are assigning the converter from the core 
or by an alias to the uh, to the picker because we saw this this one implemented multiple times in the multiple packages. But here you can even you know easy it's it's hard to say easily. But when you need to, you can change the converter. You can uh, use the same picker for the different converters, and that's that's yeah. that's a very interesting concept. And uh, and I think that it it will find a, a lot of use cases when it comes to flexibility of translating the the the, the media with crops to multiple mm. other desired types that will be exposed, for example, in in, in various implementations. So it's really, really good. Uh, the next one is uh, OpenID Connect uh, extension uh, made by Iran. Uh, and this release is, 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 is such a great uh, release, uh, blog post, video, uh, example code, uh, fully packed release of, of, of connector for, to OpenID with a demo um, that, that works. Uh, so that's that's a really interesting. Uh, so of course- well, Last week that your own has been working, as they mentioned here, a lot of issues in the core that are yeah. fixed in 10 to RC to make uh, you know external auth providers work a lot nicer. And he's yeah. he's done a really, really great job there. Um, and I think the yeah. next link. Oh no, we have a link further down uh, from Aaron, a blog post that Aaron wrote about um, yeah. uh, Open ID with like a YubiKey basically for, yeah. for external auth. And again, that all that all ties in with this. So uh, that's really cool. Yeah, and again, in, in, in theory, of course, there is a support for the things, but uh, by implementing and exposing the issues, we can we can also make them fixed. And this is what states here in in, in blog post that it requires the 10.2 because it, a lot of things were fixed just there, and then it won't work earlier. So yeah, if anyone wants Open ID uh, now, it can be done with this extension and example code attached here as well. Uh, and the next one is is also interesting. Uh, I kind of like it very much. It's like a honeypot spam bot trap in the beta version for the for the new Embraco, uh, and it like adds the tag yeah. helper, right? So this is a dot net yes. tag helper. Yes. So it adds the the the, the honeypot field to the forms, uh, and uh, and of course it, if it's filled by bots, uh, it stops the the form from being uh, submitted, right? Because this honeypot shouldn't be filled with data. Um, and I, I remember it was one of the most successful uh, spam um, uh, protections at some point. But of course, um, might be also used with the combination of some some else um, uh, extensions like, uh, you know, like, uh, what was the name That's of the, this one? Akismet, which is the WordPress. Uh, yes, Akismet. Spam, spam moderation thing. I don't know how good it is anymore. Um, but I, 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 I it was on my list of things to do at some point. And I think I saw a Umbraco integration for that a little while ago, maybe an Umbraco forms integration. Can't really remember, but uh, it, yeah, definitely, definitely a really nice, simple integration there from from Dennis. Yeah, cool. And that's from the releases, uh, and and now a long list of meetups and activities uh, around the community, starting from. We wouldn't uh, normally the, the... a list of meetups running this long, like we're going until the end of October, but there's a yeah. lot coming up. I want people to miss yeah. it, so I'll. Uh, it's like, and, and as I've stated in the tweet, uh, the, the festival season, the meetup season, the, the community is back on track. And then hopefully nothing uh, will destroy that and ruin the plans. Um, uh, but yeah, there are there's, uh, some meetups already happening, already some of them already happened. And this Wessex meetup, or hosted by Joe and, and, uh, and some other team members from your company, Callum, uh, was a really good turnout. And, and I, 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 I think that it was really good um, uh, content as well. So it looks like I, I like attended this fun. I attended this virtually, and um, yep. I have to say the the experience as a virtual attendee, still keeping it hybrid, was actually really good. The the hmm. video and audio I know Jason worked quite hard on, um, yep. and it was yeah really high quality, very clear, very very engaging, which was nice. Um, and they had a really good turnout in person too. So I can see this being a nice template for hybrid meetups going forward. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. All online, or whatever. Where, where it was streamed? It was on Zoom, or it, it was or just on Zoom. Yeah, I, I don't think they plan to stream it externally, but uh, okay. maybe in the future. Okay, yeah, maybe. Uh, so cool. Uh, the next uh, one, uh, the shortest in time, is Ambraco Talks in September uh, in uh, Bristol Ambraco Group. Uh, so uh, Bristol community is back. Uh, and uh, on this Wednesday, we'll host uh, uh, an Umbraco Talks. Agenda is still to be uh, announced. So, uh, um, uh, yeah, it's, and it, it's fully in person event, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. So, this one is happening on September 7th. Uh, the next one is the day after. It's in London. And also, London yeah. September talks uh, in person. And yeah, it has already agenda. Yeah, we have an agenda. Um, and uh, Matthew Hart's going to be doing a nice DevOpsy talk. 
Um, and yeah. will be a, a new venue. Uh, Hugo and Kat, who are an agency down in, near Liverpool Street, will be there. Uh, should be nice. Mm -hmm. Person nice. for a bit. Again, we're alternating. We're keeping things in virtual and in person. Like rather than doing hybrid events, we're going to try and alternate. Uh, but yeah, it should be a good one. Come along if you can. Nice. Uh, the next one is in Sydney, uh, the week after, on uh, September 14th. Uh, and uh, it also has a, a really nice uh, uh, agenda. And this is online and in-person events. So another hybrid one to, 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 to attend. And this uh, will have a guest speaker, Nikolai and Nikolai, talking about practicing acceptance, the pros and cons, and the pitfalls of acceptance tests. So another talk about acceptance tests. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm still interested in this one. So uh, might be might be good to, to refresh this knowledge and, and and they were talking about this on on um, cold garden right yeah. uh, so, uh, so yeah. and they and they did a, a talk at the the copenhagen meetup was it last week or something i don't know it was it was it was it was a different group so yes this this talk was from cold garden yeah so that's good uh, and another in person event the day after uh, in manchester um, uh, and uh, north West Ambra Comita, uh, also in person, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, DXP talk. You are already doing a DXP. You, you just didn't know it, so that's interesting uh, topic. Uh, and yeah, there will be a lot of discussions about uh, about it. And uh, first in person meetup since lockdown, so that's mm -hmm. definitely worth uh, attending for everyone around Manchester. Uh, and two more, a couple, a couple more. Kent Ambra Comita is, is also uh, back. Again, yeah. so um, uh, this one is happening on October. Uh, so definitely, we'll be reminding about it uh, closer to the to the event. But you are attending, Callum. Uh, from what uh, I can I'm, I'm going to try. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 very far away, but it's not that difficult for me to get to from here. So I, I will I'll give it a go. I will give it a go. Yeah. So yeah, it's already announced, and uh, there is a Swedish Swedish Ambraco meetup um, uh, also announced uh, by Marcus, and it's happening when uh, October twenty fifth. Fifth. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah. it will have yeah. 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 So that's good, and of course, I don't understand anything in Swedish, so I won't be trying to translate it. But uh, but yeah, we will uh, keep you posted about this one. Um, and now a little bit bigger events and, and maybe more uh, oriented about the, 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 the changes in the and expansion to the US market. We've mentioned the Ambraco US Summit, but of course mm -hmm. it is uh, starting in 26 days. And I think that the information that is worth mentioning, and that's something what I missed also completely, it's like this, is, uh, this also allows to uh, sign up uh, virtually and attend online. Uh, so uh, I, yeah, for free. For and free. I saw that some people were all. completely surprised that this is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you don't have to pay so, at all and uh, in, uh, online, and I think you get full access to all of the all of the sessions, which is is really really cool. Of course, if you can be there in person, if you're in the US, it's not crazy expensive. Um, yeah. Maybe if you click on the buy tickets, is there a, a deal? Uh, in yeah. Uh, there, I think there's a deal if you buy a couple of tickets as well. So uh, and it's, okay. and there's a a formal dinner afterwards and all kinds of things. So it'll be a uh, that'll be pretty nice. Nice. Um, nice. And it, a good balance of, uh, it's definitely more marketing and digital focused, yep. uh, DXP focused, rather than uh, necessarily developer focused, but there's definitely uh, some, some good developer talks in there too. Um, it's yep. on a Thursday, which means, because uh, I, I, be, I will be there, but uh, we can't do an Umbra Coffee from there, but maybe we'll work mm -hmm. out something else. Maybe we can do a special Umbra Coffee episode the day before. Or yeah, we'll something. try to, to do something, yeah. <laughs> And you will be also together with Emma and um, who else is joining you? Uh, Emma and uh... Emma and Trina, basically. Trina. So, yes. so we're doing a little mini a mini road show, mini, show mini meet up. <laughs> um, around <laughs> the uh, around the US summit. So uh, we'll be visiting Minneapolis on the twenty sixth, Charlotte in where the summit is from the twenty eighth to the twenty ninth, and then New York from the uh, the following, I think it's the 1st of October. Um, so we're nice. going to try and do, at the very least, a meetup in every single place. Um, the Minneapolis one scheduled, there'll be a New York one coming very, very soon. There will be, yeah, tech talks in each. Um, and there will be a, uh, I, know, I know we're trying to work on like some some training or some workshops or a hackathon or something mm -hmm. in a Charlotte event. Um, and basically, the rest of the time, anyone that, that 
that wants to do something, let us know because we're we're trying to find as as many people we can connect with as possible in the community over that period. So if you're in the US or know someone in the US that would maybe like to learn more about Umbraco, let us know. We'll come visit. Yeah. And and also spread the word uh, around your friends, uh, communities, .NET communities maybe as well, uh, to 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 reach out to as many people possible. Uh, we we know how hard it is to 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 gather people for for the local initiatives like like this kind of meetups. Uh, so whoever can help and and reach out to to .NET people, Umbraco people around, uh, please do. Uh, and this road tour will be very interesting, and and uh, and I hope that it, you will have a lot of great and um, uh, new Umbraco community members gathered there as yeah. well. Yeah, I'm sure. I think next week or so we'll we'll have a lot more details out about yep. um, about the plans there. But uh, yeah, should be good. Yeah, and straight from US, you're going to. Uh, yeah. I mean, this, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so the Dutch festival's on the seventh. That's straight yeah. after. Uh, I'll be flying from the US straight there, um, which will be good fun. Uh, and yeah. But yeah, it'd be it'd be nice. I've, I've obviously. Dutch Festival has been like a, a staple for me for the for a good yeah. five years. It's a very good event, always a good event. Um, tickets are not too expensive. Very, very attractive yeah. prices very for high. the tickets. Uh, they've got this dinner option now as well, if you wanted to buy, yes. you know, get dinner. So you can do that. Um, and uh, I think the early bird sales end on Monday, on the 5th. So if you want to lock mm. in that early price, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, and, and the agenda is, is, is really great I, I saw a lot of great talks and people are very excited to come back to to Utrecht and, and speak again on this event uh, so yeah I'm sure it will be a very interesting event so if anyone is around definitely worth uh, going and checking out uh, what's happening there and it's a really really good agenda out there uh, yep and that's that's the, another big event uh, and uh, there are two more one in uh, Denmark that was also announced um, uh, recently, uh, Ambraco DK Festival that will happen on 24th November in, in Aarhus. Uh, and uh, the, the festival organizers also announced the call for proposals. And I can't, uh, I, there is a form. And the so um, I can't, yes, yeah. I can't remember very, the, the exact the date. Yeah, uh, uh, 24th of November is the date. It's a, it's a uh, very confusing Google form. It's just one big text field if you want to apply. <laughs> You have to include everything in that one text field. Uh, yes, but, but would you yeah. like to speak? And there is another topic that we can uh, suggest. But generally, yeah. uh, I, I was talking about the deadline for submissions for the talks. But uh, oh, there, there is no deadline. Yeah. Not an yeah. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, if anyone wants to join the Danish community uh, in Aarhus uh, and, and speak uh, and share some knowledge uh, out there, that's the, the, the great opportunity. And, yeah. and, and Callum, there is uh, something happening uh, on the UK's market. Yes, there is. Uh, so I was supposed well. to announce all of this week, and I didn't because I've been <laughs> a little busy with other things, shall we say. Um, yes, there will be a UK yeah. event. Uh, some people may have received an email this week from Embraco HQ about a partner summit. Of course, we are joining forces. There will be a partner summit on the 17th of November in London, and there will be an event on the 18th of November in London, uh, a full day of talks, two tracks. The goal is to have a one track that is completely virtual, so we can have some speakers from all over the world that maybe we would mm -hmm. normally get a track of, of in-person talks. We've got a couple of really amazing keynote speakers lined up already. Um, there are going to be some slots open for a call for papers as well. That was all supposed to go up yesterday, and it didn't, so it will go up sometime next week. Website, tickets, the lot. Tickets for um, in-person will be £50. Tickets uh, online will be £15 if you want to attend. There'll be a hackathon the day before. If you're not attending the Partner Summit, we're going to be doing a big hackathon. Um, yeah, I don't know. What more can I say? Oh, I'm, there's a name for it, but I'm not going to give the name away. I'll let, I'll let that be. Not yet. People in the chat can guess uh, what it's going to be called. Of course, it's not. A, it's not a festival, so it's not called a festival. Um, yep. A bit like last year. Uh, and it's not together again. I don't know. Uh, let's put yeah. guests out there. Let's put yeah. guests. Out there. Uh, yeah, people uh, who are watching us, um, uh, try to get, get guess a, a name of the UK's event now, uh, and, and and maybe there will be some discount for someone who will guess and who don't know. <laughs> someone who don't know, right? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. so. The short of it is 17th and 18th in London, there's going to be yep. lots of unbracket things going on. 
Tickets will be on sale next week. Call for papers next week. Website will all be up next week as well. Um, and uh, that's great. Yeah, let's make it epic. Yeah. And Nabraco together last year was was an amazing event as well. So uh, that's 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 definitely uh, one of the biggest still uh, communities uh, around the globe, uh, and, and and an amazing opportunity for everyone. I, don't know, I have to sketch up. Martin, you've got to make sure that you're there because the 18th would yep. be Umbrakov's oh. fifth birthday. Oh damn it! That's. I, I can do that. I have a birthday on uh, four days before, so that would be the combination of, of, the, of the of the trip. But yeah, uh, of course, I will do everything to to be there. Uh, I have a very close relationship with London, so <laughs> I should be able to do that. Uh, but yeah, that would be a really nice celebration. And yeah, that's that's really good stuff. Uh, cool. So yeah, we are all awaiting this festival season, uh, and 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 yeah, I, I really hope that it will be an, uh, again back on track, and everyone and we will be able to rebuild our map. Of festivals or Umbraco festivals.com. We need to check this website. Yeah, what's, what's <laughs> it's, it's, it, it wasn't maintained for a while. Yeah, it, it wasn't maintained for a while. I need to find the login there. But yeah, uh, we, we will need to update it because it's still happening. Um, cool. And last but not least, uh, we have a couple blocks to mention, um, uh, starting from. Uh, uh, from Aaron and, and YubiKey, uh, two-factor authentication that we've mentioned already. So great, uh, great walkthrough, setting up the, the, the YubiKey validator service and all the implementations with the two-factor authentication of their good copy and paste code ready to, for someone to, to reuse. So that's a, that's a really good uh, piece of knowledge from, from Aaron. And I really like this, this uh, example uh, here. Um, so yeah, check it out. Uh, the next one is about knowledge. and. Uh, and this channel, Umbraco Learning Based Channel, reached out the 1,000 subscribers. So big high five, rock for for Umbraco and and this channel. And there was a and lot of videos. Like um, and, half, and they've beaten us to a thousand. What's going on here? Yes, I can't remember how many subscribers we have, but. Now it's a good moment. If you have, if you are not subscribing, click the subscribe button. We also want to celebrate 1,000 subscribers, uh, maybe in a couple of years. Uh, but please subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, please. please subscribe. But also, if you if you are not subscribing to Umbraco Learning Base channel, please do the same uh, because it has a lot of great stuff um, uh, on, on the channel. Uh, there is a lot of new tutorials. They are uh, um, uh, released uh, almost every week, uh, very regularly now. And then there is a very um, much of uh, a, a lot of uh, very up to date knowledge about cloud, Umbraco, and and various other uh, things uh, from the basics to to more advanced things. And Umbraco is organizing a giveaway. For, to celebrate uh, 1,000 subscribers, and everyone can win some Umbraco swag. Just, uh, just uh, the requirement is to fill the form uh, and uh, and let them know, let Umbraco know if you subscribe or not subscribe and, uh, to the channel. So please do. Uh, so yeah, that's the one. Uh, and uh, one more important thing that uh, came up uh, today. Uh, it's about security advisory and patch yeah. uh, that is up coming uh, to live on September 6th. Uh, and it's affecting uh, Umbraco version uh, 9 and uh, beyond, uh, in between yeah. of, uh, some other versions, of course. Yeah, no, no, uh, 9 all the way how up to, to later 10, basically, is, is affected. 15, 10 yeah. 2 won't be, because that comes out yep. the week after next. And so the patch will already be in there. Um, but uh, yeah, yes. it's uh, it's happening. So uh, we're going to have another, yeah. is it Tuesday's the 6th? Yeah. So we're going to have another, another great patch yes. day, aren't we? I mean, we're, we're, <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, it, it, right now it's a it's a great introduction how to prepare how to prepare how to release and of course, Umbraco Cloud website will be uh, automatically updated. So here it's it, it's um, and Umbraco Cloud sites are not affected by this issue, by the way. So that's that's uh, that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's that's uh, that's happening, and everyone can plan uh, to be ready uh, on September sixth and beyond to patch. Their websites if you are using uh, Umbraco version 9, uh, unless, 9 5, yeah, 3 and 10. Let's talk about this, uh, this patch because, uh, I mean, in the past, those were kind of annoying. They'd say, oh, here's a DLL that you've got to drop in or something to, to fix the issue, or yep. oh, um, yeah, you're going to have to update to the latest forms or something to, to address these issues. And now, just with the, the release cadence, I think people are already so close yeah. to latest generally. You're not. You're never that far away from the latest. That this isn't a big, no. big issue, is it? 
Yeah, and exactly, it's like a patch release, uh, as as it, as the name states, right? It, it just bump the patch release, and and you're already safe. Yeah. So yeah, that's 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 a really good, and it's a lot easier to upgrade. So that's that's definitely uh, not that much of struggle uh, required anymore. Uh, and last um, uh, uh, to be mentioned is a new U profile uh, from uh, from uh, from August, and it's Joanna uh, from Bulgaria uh, who works with Ambraco for a while, uh, but uh, and works uh, in the company called Cleveret. Uh, and uh, again, it's it's not something what we would think like um, Bulgaria's community is, is big, but uh, in the article and the the, the the interview, it says that the creators of uh, and founders of Cleveret works with Ambraco since version four. So it's been a while I, since I the community you, was, I, was, I've was been to was. Bulgaria for work with an Umbraco company that had, uh, they weren't just doing Umbraco, but you know, oh. .NET, so over a hundred developers. There are, there is a nice. community in Bulgaria. There was some, somebody talking, oh no, it was Joanna. I was talking with Joanna at Code Garden about getting a meetup yes. off the ground. Uh, I think you were involved in that too. And I was saying there's definitely yes. people in Sofia. I know she's not based in Sofia. So there's, uh, yeah, but there's, there's options there. You'll, you definitely get a few people joining, uh, joining some meetups. So, uh, yeah, but still it's, as, as we've mentioned about you profiles and all the articles like this, it's good to see, uh, people exposed like, like Joanna from, from various areas of the world. And, and, and we might not think that the community is somewhere, but then we find out that there is a lot of people say so it was the same, for example, in Poland, when, when we thought that, you know, we were just using Umbraco, we didn't think about a community or anything around that. And then it turned out that, oh, the, there are people who are interested in the same topics and they are not just developing things. They are talking to each other and exchanging knowledge. So the same is, is around the world. And yeah. The first Umbraco Roadshow, of course, we had yeah. 125 people show up in Serbia. And it's yes, like, yeah, for example, right? Did, so that's, did you know there was a community in Serbia? Probably you didn't. I, I know because uh, Svetislav, for example. Yeah. Who, who, who was from Serbia was already informing us about it. But, but yeah, there are countries like this uh, definitely in the world and we need to find them. <laughs> we need to, we need to, we, maybe for another uh, year's roadshow or something like that uh, to, to, to do this trip uh, again. But yeah, uh, congrats, Johanna, for being awarded with um, the U-Profile. And that's all what we have prepared uh, for this week's um, episode uh, of Ambra Coffee 241. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's all. If we missed anything, as usual, uh, let us know. Uh, we'll catch up on the next Friday. Uh, hopefully, we'll all feel better already, uh, Callum. Uh, uh, so for the rest of the people, have a have a lovely uh, day uh, ahead and the weekend. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, <laughs> and uh, and uh, see you soon. Thanks, Callum. Bye bye. Yep.